I told you we were going to go through the fuel system in this Farmall Super C. I've come across a few discoveries that has kind of sort of forced me to do a part one before I actually do the fuel flush. Let's go. For all you new subscribers that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks, about a week before you subscribed, I picked this tractor up. So I've had it probably, I don't know, three weeks. I'd have to actually check the calendar. In today's video is a part one of getting the fuel system clean, at least on this tractor. But I wanted to make a part one because what I thought I was going to have to do to this, I'm not. I drained the fuel out, looked in the tank. The tank's not quite as as bad as I once had anticipated. Therefore, I'm not going to have to pull this tank to flush it and clean it. I have a Farmall M, which is right here, that when I bought this tractor, it did not have a very clean fuel tank either, but it wasn't so bad that I had to pull it. And I was able to successfully leave the tank intact, still do a good flush on it, have uh, a clean tank now, clean enough, and uh, I, I don't have any problems. Rebuilt the carburetor. I did a bunch of stuff on this, but today's video is not about this. It's actually about fuel tanks. So let's go back to the Super C. And since I'm not going to have to pull this tank, I thought I'd talk about what would I do if I did. Okay, so the first things first, obviously, I'd remove the tank. All right. Second, I would, uh, before I removed it, I would drain it out with a, fuel, with a uh, garden hose. Yep, not a pressure washer. You don't need that. You just need uh, enough water in there to get back behind a lot of these, some of these tanks have baffles get back behind there the best you can and right out the hole or you can wait you know if there's still some water in it and drain it out the top but so now you've taken the tank off i like to set these tanks up if they're not too big put them right inside a cement mixer put bolts in there with some acid there's a product out there called rust out and that it works really good a lot of times they're using it for plumbing and this and that and the other thing, but I've had a lot of uh, good luck with rust out and it actually works with water and it's a non, it doesn't require you to scrub, so it works out really good. Another thing you can do is put vinegar in there, okay? So you put the vinegar in, make it, oh, I don't know, two thirds of the way up, fill it with vinegar and uh, then go ahead, you got your bolts in there I don't know, maybe maybe a couple of handfuls of bolts, and you put it in the cement mixer, and you just you just roll it, clank, clank, a bang, the bang, 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 and you got the the acid from the vinegar in there as a cleaning solution, and uh, that works out well too. What I like to do is do that. The tank's off, turn it, have the bolts clanging and banging, have the vinegar basically eating away the rust drain that out. Then I take the tank out, block the petcock off, of course you already have, and fill it up about three quarters of the way with vinegar. Then I like to let that sit all night. Actually, a lot of times I will fill it to the rim with a rich taste of brim. No, just kidding. I'll fill it up with vinegar and uh, let it sit all night. Just let it soak. Probably not going to be any such thing as over soaking it with the vinegar solution. Drain it out, Get your hose back out, flush it out, and you should be good to go. Um, if there are still some particles in there, you got problems. No, just kidding. Um, take the shop vac, get down in there, suck it all out. I get a little bit dicey when it comes to the shop vac. When I work these tanks, I like to be in an outdoor setting so there's no vapors. I'm not working with anything that can explode or ignite or anything of the sort. So... If I was going to pull this tank, that's what I'd do. That's pretty much the best you can do. Um, besides using the, uh, the bolts, you can put a long chain in there. I like the bolts because I think they get into places where, say, a chain wouldn't. Um, put your tank back on, uh, let it dry out, of course, and then put your assembly back on there, your fuel in. I like to put... Uh, one can of dry gas on steroids, also known as sea foam, in there, and you should be good to go. 
Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm leaving it right in place because this hasn't, from the way the tank looks inside, it's not that bad. It's not. This isn't even as bad as the M was, and I didn't take the M, I didn't remove the M tank. So, and I I had a great deal of success. What I did with the M is I uh, got it outside. Of course, I got the fuel out of it once it was outside. Took the garden hose and then just kind of sprayed it back in as far as I could. Not super high pressure, not, you know, pressure washer pressure, but a good garden hose. And it seems funny because moisture is what caused the rust, but moisture water is what's going to get the rust out of there, or at least help you. Um, I found all kinds of stuff blowing it back into the M and then getting everything up front here. That's when I, the shop vac did the work. You know, shop vac, you can, you, you can vacuum dry or wet. And uh, well, I did both. And I was able to get that tank on that M very, very clean. And I haven't had a problem with it since. And actually when I got that tractor, that was the main problem is the fuel. Uh, this is not, this is, this is something that needs addressed I'll call it once and done, but the main problem on this tractor, and some of you that have been following this, isn't even the the um, fast hitch, because I think I found the parts to those. It's going to be the governator, and I'm going to go ahead and do a rebuild on that. Um, some people are like, oh, just take the, the cover off and spray some WD-40 in there, get the parts moving a little. Uh-uh. No, for 80 bucks, I can get a rebuild kit, but... Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Once the tank's sprayed out, um, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll fill it again about, oh, about right there with vinegar. And I'll let the tractor sit out all night. And that tank will sit there with the vinegar in it all night and just soak. And again, the acid in the vinegar will act as a solution to get rid of that rust. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys do, but it's always, always worked for me. And if there's something down in there, um, you know, I, I can make an adapter hose, whatever, to, to get down in the tank and with the shop vac and, and vacuum that out. But it's always worked at that point in time. Once I know it's clean, good to go, and dry, that's when I'll install my new fuel bolt assembly. And I will be running an inline filter just like I did on the M. So... Yeah, we should be good to go fuel-wise real quick. That'll be part two. I'll show the video. Um, again, a lot of these are, you know, rudimentary videos. And the reason I do, again, is for it's twofold. One is to have a documentation for myself of the maintenance that was done. When was that? Was that May 21st? And then you find out it was March of two years ago, and you thought it was a year ago in May. I mean, that and... Uh, one thing I've noticed when I'm doing a lot of these little jobs like this is that somebody else has maybe got a better idea on how to do it. You know, this is my way. I'm not telling you it's the only way. I'm not even telling you it's the best way. But I am telling you it's tried and tested and it's worked for me. So that's about it. And uh, I'll see you at part two. Oh, I need a new cap for that. This should have a cap, one of those caps with the... Uh, Oh, I don't know. What do you call it? A straight finger that sticks out. Never seems to line back up straight, though. It's always offset. But anyways, small talk. We'll be getting this together. I got the seat cover on there. I got the brake springs on the other side. This one's uh, in place, but it's worn out. So I'll be getting a new one for the clutch, too. All right, I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.